hello everyone in this video we will see how to create radio button in java with help of swing so uh, radio button actually there are a number of button when you select one button another selected will be automatically deselected so among those buttons you can select only one button so in this video we will see how to create radio buttons so first we will import swing package now we also want to handle those event so for that purpose we need to import awt event package okay now we will create our class r8 day and we will define our method static void So here uh, we will create our first frame. And title we will give radio button. Now for uh, radio button there is a class J radio button. So let's say we will create two radio button. So here we will specify what text we want to give. Let's say uh, we want to create two radio button with gender like male or female. Okay. So this is the first one and JR2. So we have created a one frame. We have created two radio button. Now radio button will not work according to their behavior as long as we will not add them in a group. Uh, so we need to create a object of button group bg, and we need to add these radio button to this group. JR1 JR2 Okay, so what we have done, we have created a group. <coughs> Sorry for that. Uh, that group is actually having two radio button. Now we will add this button on frame as well. And then we will set size for our frame. Let make it 400, 400, and then we will set visibility. So now we want to see whether this code is working or not. We will save it. I have saved on the desktop. Okay, I will. I will compile this file. Red dot. Java. Now I will run it. Okay. So if you can see here, we can see only one radio button. The problem, the uh, why this problem is because by default border layout is used in Swing. So what we are going to do is now we will change layout manager for our frame, and we will use flow layout so now we again will close this and if you can see your application is still running why because we have not uh, this, uh, specified any set default close operation for our frame so in order to terminate this one we need to press ctrl c so again i will compile it run it okay so now it is showing both radio button male and female okay we have selected male so now if you can see when we will select female this button will be automatically deselected now what we want to do we want to attach a event listener with these buttons so we need to define one class which will implement action listener interface this interface will define one method 
action performed and this method need one parameter of action event and here we will print button click so we have uh, created event listener next we have to register this listener for the event so we will create a object of handler class and we will attach this listener for radio button first radio button add H, and we will attach it with second one as well okay we will close this we will terminate our application control C okay so now it's working so if you will click on mail it's showing button clicked if you click on female it's saying button clicked so here if you can see the problem is uh, the handler is one and but we have attached this handler with multiple event object so how we going to differentiate which button is click so in that case this object will be used so here uh, there is a method get action command this method will give you which object uh, call this action performed so uh, it will give you the command name like uh, we are having two radio button male and female and we have attached this listener with both object so when uh, when male uh, radio button is clicked it will return a command male okay so what we'll do uh, we will do it later here we will print which button is clicked okay so here we have attached uh, which button is clicked we'll go back we'll terminate we will compile our program again and we will run it so now if we will click on mail it's saying mail button click if we click on female it is saying female button click so get action command is used to get which command actually triggering execution of this action perform method and then we can decide what we want to do when male button is clicked and what we want to do when female button is clicked in next one we will see uh, how to create checkbox and how to handle event on checkbox thank you very much for watching